friends, welcome to my channel. Happy Chhod Puja to all of you. Now, today I am going to tell you a very interesting topic that is Holi and Safa. And do you know friends, why I am holding this onion today in my video? Because this onion will play a very good part. And now for let me introduce you to the four realms of earth. The four realms of earth are lithosphere, uh, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. So first let's start with lithosphere. What does lithosphere mean? What is its meaning? The word lithos in Greek means rock or land and sphere as you all know uh, real just like a real. And see this, I am holding an onion. The structure of the lithosphere now is just like this. Let me give you an example first. See this is, if you, if you see, for, first is that earth crust where you are sitting or standing, where I am sitting or stand, standing and where you are living. So first, if you will see here, this much is our this much is our earth's crust and it is combining two layers Sial and Sima how does Sial and Sima derive its name Sial derived its name from Si silicon and Al aluminium Si silicon Ma magnesium so this was all uh, about Sial and Sima this is the very best place very best trick you can learn this and don't take that I'm telling you a trick this is a real CR consists of silicon and aluminium rocks and SEMA consists of CR and magnesium rock and as I have told you that this much is our crushed then after this one this totally this part comes our mantle and mantle is divided into two parts first three parts sorry First is our upper mantle, small layer. Next is our asthenosphere, the middle layer of both the mantles. And then it's some big like this. Our comes our lower mantle. Lower mantle is bigger. And what is mantle? Mantle are, have con contained rocks that are more denser than the crust. More denser means that in the crust the rocks are less denser and in the mantle, they are more and more denser, and this uh, it is extending this uh, lower mantle is extending till two thousand nine hundred kilometer below the earth. Hmm. Very shocking. And next comes our core of the earth. As we all know, the core is very hot. And let's destroy. It. Let me destroy it. This much part is our outer core and this whole part is our inner core. Inner core is extended till 3900 km and outer core is some small and we couldn't measure it. So this was all outer and inner core. They are very hot and they contain metals like iron and nickel. So friend, this was all about lithosphere. Next, I am going to tell you all about hydrosphere. Now, hydrosphere, what is it? You got it that lithosphere means land. Talking about our land or rocks. What does this hydro word mean? This hydro word means water. Hydrosphere is ponds, oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, small water bodies water body can be said as an hydrosphere as hydrosphere is uh, very much in our at a at a oh, 71 percent and land is 29 percent so you can that's why our earth is called the blue planet because from the outer space you can see it every blue blue and some parts green green and some parts as white as clouds this is a whole hydrosphere now friends do you know about hydrological cycle or water cycle both are same only i will describe you in just a minute see hydrological cycle means water cycle only 
water keeps changing in a cyclical manner up down up down up down up so this is all the contractions between the air land and sea now first let's start with the water cycles first process that is evaporation the heat from the sun comes and comes to the water body the water from the water body just rise up in the air like water vapor and then cool it cool down above uh, through condensation as clouds and then they cook and then they cool and cool and cool and burst then the tiny droplets come 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 as rain hail or snow onto the earth this never stops this is a cyclical manner what is it is the whole process and the rain hail or snow which is happening is known as precipitation evaporation is like this when water is rising up condensation is the above sky process in which the tiny droplets cool and co more cool and cool and cool as just cool this was all about hydrosphere now comes our atmosphere our atmosphere is a realm of air that surrounds the earth like a blanket and air constitutes many gases our atmosphere is constitute many and many gases There are more than fifty-seven, more than fifty-seven gases, as I can say, and some of them are seventy-eight percent of our atmosphere. Seventy-eight percent is contained in nitrogen. And why is it? Why shouldn't oxygen? Because we all need it to live. Nitrogen is more important. Is important as. We all, we all are living beings. We are are now. So as we grow now, nitrogen is very important for us for growing up, for plants, every every living, mostly every living being, plants, trees, etc. And twenty one percent is oxygen. Oxygen. Why? Why oxygen? Because we all breathe. We all breathe. So twenty one percent should be oxygen. Now there is remaining one percent in this zero point zero three percent is our argon, neon, and ozone, ozone gas. The ozone gas I I could tell you its importance. Like ozone gas is important because it is protecting us now from ultra ultraviolet rays of the sun. It is protecting all of us so that we couldn't burn to. Born into ash. Next is our zero point nine seven percent carbon dioxide. It is used for plants for photosynthesis for making their own food. They take us carbon dioxide and give us oxygen. Now this was all about atmosphere, but one topic is two topics are still there. One first of all the topic is. The layers of atmosphere. The many layers of atmosphere. I will describe it one by one. First, we all must start with our Earth surface, as we all know. And next comes our troposphere. It is extending from our eight kilometer above the Earth until the sixteen kilometer above the Earth. This is all extending, extending. And trop and in the troposphere, you can see the mountains, clouds, and many things, and more than things. Next comes our stratosphere. It is also known as ozonosphere because you can see because you can see the ozone layer is there only. It's protecting us from ultraviolet. There, it is there only in the it lies in the stratosphere only. And this is our our stratosphere. Now next move above, move above, above, above. Now comes our mesosphere. Mesosphere is where meteors are born while entering our Earth's atmosphere. Meteors are getting born. Radio waves, radio transmissions are possible. Next comes our ionosphere. Ionosphere is also same. Meteors are coming, and there is one more thing that is one more thing that is reflecting 
radio waves. When the radio waves they reach the ionosphere, which is very above our Earth, this is this is the most ionosphere. Now comes our exosphere. Exosphere is the what is it? Exosphere. It doesn't like is an Earth atmosphere, but we are describing. It is the all the outer space. Space. Uh, the space stations, international or Indian space station, are just seen in the whole layer of exosphere. It is also known as outer space. Now, this is all about atmosphere. Now, I am going to tell you about biosphere. Biosphere is a realm of air. That's a, is a realm of earth that that where at hydrosphere, atmosphere, and lithosphere, all the three realms meet and support varied life forms. Biosphere. Now, let's talk about in the biosphere only habitat. Habitat is a place where life thrives and multiplies. As we all know, habitat is the place where we get our food, air, everything we need to live on earth. Everything. The habitat for an animals, everything. Like the habitat for a polar bear is the southern region. The po po polar regions, mountain and polar regions, the that lives there in the North Polar Sea. So it is their, it is its habitat where it lives. Now comes our ecosystem. Ecosystem is a community of uh, organisms interacting with each other and all living organisms too. It is a natural unit which contains living or abiotic parts and non-living or abiotic parts. Living are known as also known as biotic parts and non-living are also known as abiotic. So this is all about today's video. If you, if you like my video, so please like, subscribe and share my video and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks.